Okay, so we're at two days in the Tekken 7 gameplay, and you know, of course, everything is still in the works and nothing's 100% finished yet. The graphics are at 50%, as I think I mentioned in another video. Um, I was watching the gameplay and I found out something interesting, which I'm going to post a link in the description to the website where I found it out. Um, one thing about Kazuya, um, in Tekken Tag 2, they gave him the ability to turn into double. Um, at free will, whenever you like. Of course, there wasn't really any big gain from doing this. You just had like some different moves. It wasn't really too big of a game. Now, in Tekken 7, it appears that you had to be in rage mode to turn the devil, which really doesn't make too much sense. As a matter of fact, you actually lose more than you gain when you turn into devil um, on um, Tekken Tag 2. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they did with that which leads me to believe they did a lot of things with them you might not see double gen in this game you might not see gen in this game at all uh, from what it seems but you know it's way too early to judge the roster is supposed to be about 30 35 ish characters um how many are revealed so far like 20 something like that or 18 i don't remember i don't remember what it was um i looked at the girl the new girl uh, katarina it was Catalina, but they turned it to Katarina. She, um, what concerns me about her is, like, she was supposed to do Savat. It doesn't look like she's doing Savat. A lot of people say that she looks like she's doing, uh, she's doing Beck's fighting style, Taekwondo. Um, she, she reminds me a lot of Jenny from Bloody Roar. I don't know how many people who are listening have actually played that, but that's what she reminds me of with those kicks. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to talk about. The supers are kind of just like how they are in Soul Calibur. I think they are a bit lackluster looking. Like just their regular moves pl uh, plus like some big punch or something. Like they need to do a little bit better than that. And Kazuya's move looks like the one from Street Fighter Cross Tekken but kind of worse. <laughs> well no no the laser looks good but the uh, first two hits I'm not really digging. Um, so there's a new mechanic in the game called I forget what it's called it's going to be in the description here and a link in the description it makes you float up into the air which I find that's pretty cool that is pretty cool they they took bound out mostly and it made a floating mechanic which I'm interested to see how that's going to pan out uh, the power crush move I really don't like it I don't like the concept of it because I mean uh, moves with armor are for like moves that will like never in a million years hit or like for a big sluggish character that needs that armor or else he's never going to get a move off like giving this move to every character and it looks like it may be multiple moves like that kinda it takes a lot of depth out for me cause it's like why would you decrease the back dash to make me do this new mechanic but you say you're trying to take it back to traditional Tekken I mean maybe it's just me but that doesn't seem like traditional Tekken to actually just take a hit so you can hit somebody and they can just, you know, get blown back. But then again, traditionally, juggling wasn't really a part of Tekken, so I guess it's kind of like one of those things that's up in the air. Um, I get it, up in the air, juggles. But, um, Power Crush, I don't know what to, I don't really like the concept of it because it's like Focus Attack from Street Fighter 4, almost. Um, except you just keep doing the move no matter how many times you get hit. Like, my suggestion is, like, don't make the thing completely invincible to the point where, you know, nothing's ever going to stop you, not even a giant fucking super beam. Like, make the startup frames for it invincible or part of it invincible. Because we is forward two, that's forward triangle for you default button people, um, on the PS3 or PS4. Um, it was a move where, at, at the right time, if somebody tried to punch you, it would parry the jab. Like, increase the parry range for that. Don't make this move completely invincible so he could just hit you with it. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Like, you make the move, you make the epicness of the move less epic by doing that. It's like King with his little charging dash, like... He doesn't look epic taking punches until he dashes you over. He looks epic because somebody timed that right and they ran you over you know what I mean so they're just gonna they're gonna have to tweak that a bit I can already tell cuz 
couple more location tests, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna find out that, hey, you don't need to be good at all, you're just gonna just be a scrub and just tap this button, you know what I mean? Um, which another thing, that's another thing I want to address, I wish Harada, the producer of Tekken, would stop tending to these crybabies who can't play Tekken, it's like, he's trying to expand, you know, because Tekken Tag 2 is meant for um, intermediate and hardcore players, but I'm at this point where I'm like, hey, Tekken's been out for 20 years. If you're new to it, you're probably not going to be a fan of it anyway. And just, you know, just give me Tekken, something comparable to Tekken 5 or Tekken 6 or even Tekken Tag 2. Give me something like that. Because in this day and age, the pacing is a bit faster now. The juggling doesn't pay, it doesn't have like so much of an effect. But it's like at the same time, you know, there are characters like Lily who could just carry you throughout the stage without even using Bound. So it's like, with those characters, you're gonna have to nerf them with their ground game, and you're gonna have to, like, buff other people with their juggle game, or I don't know. It's, it's too early to tell, but that's how I feel about the situation. Let me know what you guys think.